Hello there and welcome to us and in this video I'm going to talk to you about five mistakes to avoid when planting aces. But don't forget if you would like to follow us in our journey in creating our exotic garden which we only started last year then you can share, you can like and you can subscribe. If you press that notification bell you'll be told every time we publish a new video. Now, Japanese aces are extremely popular at the moment and have been for probably the last 20, 30 years in the UK. So much so that you can go into any supermarket and find a, a small range of relatively cheap plants. But the trouble is, uh, there is an issue and that's why we are coming to mistake number one. That issue. That issue is verticillium wilt, which is a soil borne fungus that gets into the plant and blocks up the, uh, the xylem, which is the water carrying part of the plant. And you'll notice it in the leaves where parts of the xylem are blocked. And beyond that, the leaf cells start to die. And you see it here, it's just starting here. You can see a little bit over here. And it's most prominent, I mostly see it on this plant, which is Asa palmatum ultra purpurium. And the reason for this is because this plant is is uh, propagated in such huge numbers, and the chances are that they uh, you have infected blades, and as they graft these onto the rootstocks, that disease is passed on. Now, in these huge factory nurseries, they can spray a fungicide onto this, but the fungicide itself doesn't even kill off this uh, infection. All it does is hold it back. So you've got to keep your eye open when you're buying aces. Make sure you don't have these telltale signs of verticillium wilt. Now the second mistake to avoid is planting it in the wrong soil. Maybe not so much wrong soil, but aces they prefer a sandy, well-drained soil, a slightly acidic. So you're going to be wanting to get yourself some ericaceous compost and maybe mixing it up with a little bit of grit sand to improve that drainage. Plant them up, don't allow them to become waterlogged because they can pick up uh, soil-borne root uh, fungal infections. And uh, the same goes for in the ground. Place it in a part of the garden that is going to be relatively moist throughout the year and does not become waterlogged. Mistake number three is where to site your Acer. Now, despite their delicate looks, they will tolerate a position in full sun. However, they will not like exposed conditions where they are subject to strong winds as these do dry out. Now, if you like some of the, uh, the, the, the fine cut leaves, like the dissectums, you could put those in dapple shade, but on the whole, full sun is fine for all of them. Fourth mistake to avoid when it comes to licking after aces is pruning. And unless you know exactly what you're doing, you put those flipping second tiers down, and I'll tell you why. Japanese aces will produce an absolutely gorgeous framework of branches and stems, and you do not need to touch any of those, otherwise you can create a misshapen tree. Now, unless you're some kind of acer expert who enjoys constantly pruning shapes out of these things, then I would put your equipment away because you're really gonna struggle. And who wants that kind of commitment, really? But there are things that you can trim back. Do you see that there? you've got a little bit of dieback. Now that's dieback from the winter, so you can take those out. And really, it's the same old procedure. You can take out dead, diseased, dying, and any branches that look a little bit odd. But other than that, don't give it an overall trim. You will ruin its shape. Well done, you reached the end of the video. This is mistake number five for you to avoid, and it is this. Aces are considered hardy, but uh, they do tend to get a little bit of uh, winter damage when you overwinter them. So what happens is you get a little bit of uh, little dive bank areas, which uh, this way we've taken most of these off. So when you have your aces and you want to try and reduce that dive bank to a minimum, what you need to do is get yourself some horticultural fleece and give it a couple of layers wrap uh, and keep that on all the time that there are risk of frost. That is your five mistakes to avoid when planting and growing aces. Hopefully you've learned something new and if you have any excellent tips that you wish to add then put those in the comments but more importantly please subscribe. See you in the next video.